Imagine logging into all your favorite apps and services with just one click. Single sign-on is a user authentication process that allows exactly that, with one set of credentials. Instead of logging into each application separately, users log in once and gain access to all connected systems without being prompted to log in again at each one. Single sign-on leverages SAMO, Security Assertion Markup Language. Let's quickly take a look how. Let's imagine we have this network with the services like data center and application services. Both of those service providers trust established identity provider IDP. Now let's say this client wants to access one of those services using browser. In the background, application service provider will ask, do you have cookie from IDP in your browser cache? The kind of cookie which can be obtained only from IDP and contain timestamps, expiration and identity information. Since this client is logging first time and do not have cookie, application service provider will ask client to redirect to the IDP. Client is going to need to provide valid credentials to the IDP. Upon successful authentication, client will receive cookie from IDP and is redirected back to the service provider, which will now see the cookie and client will be able to use its services. From this point, if client will decide to use services at data center, he will have cookie in the browser cache and access is granted without any additional steps. In previous video, we have configured security fabric. Therefore, demonstrating SAML in our lab is going to be very easy. As identity provider, we are going to configure this HA pair and as a service provider, we are going to configure a remote FortiGate. Client in this case will be admin trying to log in. We are going to hop to action via this Linux virtual machine, so let's go right there. After logging in, click on Security Fabric, then Fabric Connectors. and click Edit on Security Fabric Setup. In here we will simply click on Enable SAML Switch, then select Certificate for HTTPS Access. Next we will configure a remote FortiGate, which will be available straight from the host machine browser on IP address 192.168.199. Just like few seconds ago, click on Security Fabric, then Fabric Connectors. Then edit Security Fabric Setup. Because I have previously disabled conflict synchronization, I am going to enable it back temporarily. And command will be Set Configuration Sync Default. Save it with end, then refresh the window. In few seconds, this unit will receive automatic configuration from identity provider and become service provider. Click OK and we are ready to test it. Now I am going to log out. And as you can see, single sign-on button has appeared on login screen. So let's click on that and notice we will be redirected to IDP, which is going to verify our identity. Notice we have landed back to the service provider egress interface IP address as we got redirected back after successful authentication. This is because of settings which got inherited from Fabric Root, so let's go there and check them out. As you can see, here is predefined IP address, 
admin profile is super admin and certificate which was selected in IDP is now uploaded into this unit and it is going to be automatically trusted which means any assertions coming from IDP are going to be trusted as well. With that I am going to say goodbye and see you in next video.